nisikilize vitu zote na bebe wangu. He, ni mashida na jilete. Na jiletea. Na usiju ni wivu ilimsumbua. Hata angekuwa hapa haungekuwa bebe wa uyo bebe wako. Uyo ndo likuwa bebe. I was like, really? I thought I was special. Hi honeys. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please remember to subscribe and become one of my favorite honeys. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much, honey, for coming back. I love you and I appreciate you, okay? Yes, honey. So today is the 12th of October. It is currently, yeah, it's 6.30 p.m. I just came back from my sister's house, my sister's place, and we had a good time. We had the time of our lives, like, when we link up, it's always good vibes, good energy and eating because she loves eating as much as I love eating. So imagine two foodies. Ha, tunakula vizuri sana. Yeah, so we had a good time. We we just had fun. We just, I had missed her. Yes, honey. So I came back to my place, I think, an hour ago, and I just decided, no, let me take my second shower and you know get into my pjs and then i'm going to record a story time for my honey yeah <laughs> yeah i just remembered a funny story and i thought let me share with my honey yeah honey so vlogtober day 12 all i did was like chill with my sister and i came home literally like an hour ago and i decided let me shower and then film something for my honeys so they don't think that I abandoned them. Yeah, so another thing that I'm thinking, let me just share my thoughts with you, honeys, is I think I need a second phone because I'm using my iPhone to record and it's also like my phone for calls and texts and everything. Ah, so I feel like I'm overloading it or overburdening it, overburdening it you know? Yeah, so I'm thinking of getting one. In the meantime, I'll let you know when I do. In the meantime, I'm going to use this phone for everything. Yes, honey. So I made a smoothie. I wanted that to be my uh, late lunch. I made a very heavy smoothie, avocado, banana, yogurt, what else? Beetroot. That's going to be, I'm going to show you guys. So I want to have that as we talk because I figured if I eat as I talk, the story time is going to take so long because you have to wait for me to finish chewing and swallowing my food and then I talk to you guys. Do you get? Yes, honey. So <clears throat> this is my hair. Like I told you guys, I love it. I'm going to start taking care of my hair so that my edges can grow back, you guys. And we are gonna do that together. So let me bring my smoothie and then we start with the story time, okay? October, um, episode 12 and episode 13, cause I'm gonna post it for you guys tomorrow. Sawa, okay. This glass is so gigantic, it's my wine glass. Like I told you guys, I drink everything in a wine glass. Yeah, so I'm gonna have my smoothie as we talk and we have our um, a story time. And I think this is going to be my dinner. I don't think I'm gonna eat again. I don't think I'm gonna eat dinner, that is, because this is a lot. So this is gonna be my dinner. Yeah, so this story time is about this lady that I used to work with. Oh my gosh, what do we call this lady? Let's call her, um, what do we call her? her? Alicia. Any story time I do, I'm not using people's real names. So Alicia was a very nice lady in the beginning. Hmm. 
مسمات ایسای امین so for context let me tell you guys so i used to work at a certain cafeteria way way back in the days i think four years ago or five years ago or even six i don't know i'm not sure i used to work at a certain cafeteria as a waitress so when i went for an interview uh there was this guy by the way he used to be friends with a friend of mine hmm. so when he used to pass by somewhere and see me he was like oh i asked him if he has heard of any job opportunities he told me oh you know in our restaurant they are hiring you can come for an interview okay so the next day i go for an interview i find the manager i find the wife they're the ones doing interviews and alicia was also a waitress but alicia was not there on that day of the interviews it was her off day so i do the interviews the manager the wives are like oh, okay you passed when can you start can you start tomorrow morning i was like yeah sure why not hey okay tomorrow morning i come so it's like my orientation i see what's happening how do they work they see if i can work as a waitress that was my first job as a waitress i learned being a waitress there so the next day alicia doesn't come as well okay so apparently her kid is sick or something like that i don't know so that day as well alicia doesn't come to work power so i keep hearing about alicia like hey you guys do you think alicia's kid is really sick or was she pretending so that she can have an extra off day you know when i'm saying to like the workmates i don't know who alicia is so i have no say i have no comment comments plus i'm a newbie i'm a newcomer here's the answer kwingilili ama neno na sijui watu okay so at 4 p.m they tell me okay yeah you can go come tomorrow continue with work the next day i come hey i enter all the waitresses you know how a, a restaurant works it's, it's like you guys are, are in uniform maybe you stand somewhere waiting for clients so i come from the changing room i enter and i see a new face i don't know her so it's alicia and then the supervisor says we need to have a staff meeting so he can introduce me properly okay so i go we all go they're like ah oh, by the way this is candy and she's gonna be working with us from now on alicia's like oh nice to meet you candy um i'm saying candy because it's my youtube name but people call me nice so i think let me just say nice because that's what people know me as nice to meet you nice oh my god you're so beautiful you're so pretty she started hugging me i don't even know this babe she started hugging me you're so pretty nice to meet you and yeah nice to work uh, i'll be working with you i'll show you around blah 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 i'm like oh wow thank you i'm like hey the vibes with this chick oh yo mimi naya to tell you wana kabisa because she's so jovial she likes me already hey and then she was like by the way if anyone asks you just tell them you're my sister when we attached to the coach outside of work you know before yeah so another guy comes he's a waiter another guy comes in the afternoon shift and he's like oh hi how are you what's your name because hakuwa staff meeting so honey jui and then alicia akarukia he she came ah oh, her name is nice this is my sister hey tuna juana hey nimemleta so nimemleta job if you want to know anything ask me mse somboy nice hey mse nimefraia i have like a um, mom you know at work hakuna mtu atani ataniletea issues alicia akiwa around you understand 
yeah so it was a nice it was a nice thing and then ikafika time ya kwenda home she's so at home we we all changed and then she was like oh nice where do you stay i was like i stay at such and such a place wow i stay opposite the road that you stay in twendanisha home so we went around to the matatu to kapana matatu kapana matatu guys i'm really i'm really trying not to be sitting like this because it's it's really gonna affect my posture so if you see me slanting and then i sit upright <laughs> don't mind i'm trying to be sitting upright it's really gonna help my back and my posture yes honey so kupanda mat guess what this alicia babe she pays for me she pays for my matatu i told her oh thank you she's like ah oh, don't worry then she told me kesho ko shifts pangapi i was like morning shifts i was told to come in the morning but nini timetable bado hasijua kwa kwa timetable she was like okay nilisikia timetable mpya inatengenezwa next week ndio we wekwe sawa hata mimi nitakuwa mo nitakuwa morning shift tutakuwa pamoja i was like okay cool i was like eh me i want to be in every shift nikuwa na udem kesho yake fast forward to find a job when you when you're on the opening shift you guys are the ones who have to tidy up so evening shift they have to clean and make sure everything is clean but even in the morning when you come you have to clean the floors that's how that cafeteria was operating hey so i come in the morning uh the, the supervisor is like utasaidia alisha kuosha floors to mop the floors and wipe the tables i go and tell alisha i've been told i will help you blah 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 alisha is like ah pana no 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 why lada to panguza meza i'm going to mop the whole restaurant at panguza peke yake me i'm like ah pana udem this is this is my best friend apa this is my best friend i want to be working with her then akamaliza we used to be told to wear these uh what oh, apron yeah you need to wear apron so that a client or rather a customer i don't know what to call them can differentiate na juu huyu ni waitress anafanya hapa if i need help i should call her what happens um akanipea apron and she put her own apron she's like i really don't like this apron they just make us look so old blah 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 tuzitoe tu tukatoa apron tukaweka hapo and we continued everyone else are na aprons ni mimi na besti besti hatuna hey the manager came cuz he used to pass by he takes coffee and then he goes to drop the wife at her workplace so he came he said hi nini he was like nice mbona hauna apron eh hey, me i was like do you get cuz alisha sai yo hayuko i think he, she she's in the kitchen telling the chef something so i was like what do i do what do i say so i was like take your apron now vai so i put on my apron okay uh we made some coffee for him he left with the wife so the supervisor told me you need to be wearing this apron kama hautaki shida na manager make sure you have this apron alisha katoka kitchen akakuja akanipata niko na apron she was like ah why are you wearing the apron na venye na kavi baya i was like i've been told i should be wearing the apron even the manager came and said that she was like ah don't worry who are nanga issues me i was just like huh ebu tu ni vaya apron hata kama na kavi baya okay haya lunch time came so uh the staff kuna time kuna kuna menu ya staff today you eat ugali tomorrow you eat rice blah 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 public holidays we used to cook chapati so like if a client has some an order for fries zinatengenezwa but ikibaki mnapewa mkule he sema uyu dem every time ako na client wa fries zibaki ananipea every time kuna kitu tu yoyote inapikwa 
even if let's say it's meatballs zipikwe ibaki moja kwa pan anaambia chef ini alisha mtu asigu ini a nice mtu asiguze fries zikibaki ni yeah, nice okay so we became so close guys we were besties mpaka akaanza kuniita bebe alikuwa ananiita bebe i'm sure i'm sure most people wakisikia tu wewe dem alikuwa ananiita bebe they will know who i'm talking about so we used to call each other bebe 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 twende home bebe mpaka inafika point tunatoka job mapema he tunaitana tu bebe bebe so a whole week ikaisha guess what i was included in the timetable so apparently alisha told the supervisor we should be put on the nini on the same shift every single day we are on the same shift the only day we are not on the same shift ni nini ni when ako off cuz hatuwezi enda off watu wawili akienda off mimi niko job nikiwa off ya yeah, ko job you understand okay it was good vibes work, working with this babe like wakipika ugali mi school ugali si alisha bebe wangu amesema nini amesema fries zikibaki nice apewe so i used to eat like special diet at work aki na kula chakula ya kampuni ya customers guys i had a good time not knowing not knowing is it easy vitu zote zenye ninafanya ni mashida na jiletea easy vitu zote na bebe wangu he ni mashida na jilete na jiletea hmm so fast forward and now i knew how things work i knew the ins and outs i knew na jua venye job inafanyika nimeshakuwa waitress niko hapo na beba food hivi na ka na ka nini tray i served clients loved me i used to get tips yeah so i used to be i used to be good times good times with my bebe aki tulikuwa tuna have fun tulikuwa tuna have fun So even my friends used to come visit me. So I think two of my friends visited me when I was working there. So when my friends come, I'm like, what will you have? Wakifika tu hivi I introduce them. Eh hey, by the way, this is uh she's called Alicia. Ah and then she's so angry. Don't say my name is Alicia. Mini bebe, mini bebe wako. Introduce me as bebe. Like okay this is my bebe nilikuwa kanani hug to kila saa aki bebe aki bebe kanani hug aki we used to we used to have fun we them was really a good person sijui lakini kuna i don't know she was a good person but i don't know sijui ni wivu ilimsumbua akafanya Kenya alifanya me i don't know hey so let me tell you guys she used to want to know everyone in my life like if my friends come to visit to visit me at work now it's like it's her friend anataka aonge na yeye if we talk about anything ako hapo anasikiza even if we're talking about my friend's boyfriend anataka kusikia eh alafu boyfriend ya nani akafanya nini eh alafu my mom came to visit me one day at my workplace mimi nakwambia this chick hadi akachukua namba ya mama yangu. Ah, imagine like mimi hata sijui. I just go home in the evening my mom is like, "Eh, hey, bebe wako hadi alichukua namba. Even now my mom knows tunaita na bebe. <laughs> bebe, bebe." Oh my gosh, hey, this chick, I think she was I don't know if she was obsessed with me or she wanted to be me, Miss Tree. But I liked I loved Alicia. Now the problem began one sweet day. One sweet day. The owner of this restaurant does not live in Nairobi. The owner of this restaurant lives in the United States. So when you're reporting about any issue, you report to the manager, then the manager reports to the O to the owner. But we have our WhatsApp group of workers. 
and the owner is there and the manager is there. So, so what happened? This manager became so busy with his other work, he didn't used to come on a daily basis. So, in, in, so now at the end of the day, when we do like the calculations and the profits that we've made and all that, or if we need to buy anything, we text who? The owner. Ama tunampigia voice call. Hiya. So what happened? We became so tight with my baby. We became so tight. Unakumbuka tuko shifts pamoja. Mimi na bebe tuko shifts kila siku pamoja. Mtu wata akijaribu ku change timetable, we are like, no. Change everything, but bebe and I need to be on the same what? On the same timetable. Same shift. Kama tunaingia, tunaingia pamoja. Kama tunatoka, tunatoka pamoja. Hey, so on Saturdays and Sundays, we didn't used to wanna open like early. You know, weekdays you open early because what one end a job, they will come, take their coffee, you know, and all that. But Saturday and Sunday, we used to tunataka kufungwa late kidogo. Mimi na bebe, sisi ndo tunafungua. Sisi ndo tukwa morning shift. Ah, wengine wa nini? Wakuja afternoon. So we used to, we were supposed to open at 6 a.m. Mkwe mefungua mlango na memop. Sawa. So I tell, I tell my bebe, eh, hey, bebe, nako shua atuta lete wa shida, tukifungua late, watangalia CCTV. So it's like, hey, bebe, we're just going to sit there ata kunanga customer Saturday na Sunday. So what we'll be doing, tutafanya nini? Tutaingianga, but hatuta fungua CCTV. I don't know how that CCTV works, but uki switch on, do tutaona what is going. At the end of the night, tuki, at the end of the shift, mukifunga kila maali, mnazima, mnazima CCTV. So we used to enter at 6.30, ama 7. Once we clean and we open, do tunenda kufungua ile CCTV. I don't even think iliko inaangaliwa. Kwa zingia kwa inaangaliwa, ata mwenye anaangalia, angeona, Mbona leo kuna muangaza, awa tuwa mifungua late. Plus, I'm sure CCTV has time. It always has some time here, dates, and all that. So, I don't think hilikuwa inaangaliwa. Okay? So, one sweet day. I tell bebe, I wanted to sleep in. Aki na siyatuni nechoka. Bebe is like, no bebe, you sleep. Lala tu, so utakuja ata eight. Bora, ufanya nini? Ukuje kama umevaa uniform. Ukuje kama umevaa uniform, uingie tu ni kama nilikuwa nimekutuma soko or somewhere. We uingie tu. Mimi na mimi ni kazoea. Saturday na Sunday, mimi na lala. I go to work at 8 and I'm supposed to get there at 6. So, ni kazoea tu. Ni kazoea tu. I'm going to work at 8. Haya. Nobody ever knew until supervisor could draw. So a few weeks later, the supervisor calls me. I can be a, mm, nice. I want to talk to you. I went. Can be a, eh, unona je, unona job I was like, job work is good and all that. I was like, eh, hey, how is your friend, baby? Muna peleka na je, kunamtiote mekwa na shida. I was like, mm, no one. Work is good. I can't complain. Bebe is good. She's my friend. Yeah, I feel like everything is okay. And he was like, Mimi, nataka uifanya nini? Ujichunge na watu huku. Watu wanajifanya ni rafiki zako, but huku hakuna rafiki ya mtu. I was like, huh? What are you saying? Hakuna rafiki ya mtu? Bebe ni rafiki yangu mzuri tena sana. What do you mean? In my mind. I was like, what does this, what is this guy trying to tell me? Kambia, eh, uku, uku hakuna rafiki ya mtu. Hapa kila mtu amefanya nini? Amekuja kazi. Focus on work. Hapa hakuna rafiki ya mtu. I was like, okay, sawa. A few days later again, when we were in the kitchen, unajua tuile banta, unachapa story na mashef. So I asked, eh, by the way, the lady who I, who was who left work and then I replaced her. 
because there was a lady who was working before. I think she quit. No, she was fired. And then I was hired. What happened? Connie, why did she leave work? Did she find another job? Ama, what happened? Then one chef told me, I koni bebe ajai kwambia na venye walikuwa besti besti. Kwa hata ndo umemreplace. Ai, they used to be so close. Hata angekuwa hapa haungekuwa bebe wa huyo bebe wako. Huyo ndo alikuwa bebe. Hadi walikuwa naita na bebe. I was like, really? I thought I was special. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. Momo, say Momo. Hey, my sisters, my honeys. And then, sister, ni kataka kuchungu za history. Kwa ni what happened? Kama walikuwa besti, besti. Mbona alivu? Mbona alivu tuwa kazi? So, I asked this chef one day. Tulikuwa sisi wa wheelie kitchen. Na kwa ni what happened to that lady? Uyo bebe wa bebe wangu. What happened? Then, she was like, Mi kenye neza kuambia, is don't trust anyone in this one. In this one. Let's wait for your kazi. Shift yako ikisha. Nenda nyumbani. Usiko na story mingi na mchoyote. Hapa hakuna rafiki. At your workplace, none of those people are your friends. None of them. Laiti, ningesiki, ningesikia. Siku sikia, nye mnasema none of these people are your friends. Nye mnajua bebe. Yani we used to be so close. Bebe ananiambia ni lale. Nikuja job sambili sanyini. I'm well rested. I've gotten my beauty sleep. Na hajai nesema. So what are you saying? This is my friend. Hmm. Hmm. Eh. So. We do the reports. We send them to the owner in the states. If we need to buy anything. Tuna text the owner kwa group. Ivo, 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 ivo. Only for one day. One sweet day. My honey is, hey, the owner calls me. I pick up the phone because I've never spoken to this lady. I don't know her. Mina skianga two stories. Okay. She's the boss. Ana kwanga mkali. Blah, blah, blah. Nambia, hi, nice. How are you? I'm doing good. Oh, it's been a few months since you started working with us. How are you liking your new job? I'm like, mm, work is good. How are your colleagues? Uh, how have they welcomed you? I'm like, yeah, they're good. They've been helpful. Wamenikunza, because they're waitress. Everything is amazing. And they're, oh, really? Okay, have you had any issues with any of your colleagues? I was like, no, we are all, we are all good. We are, we are getting along, you know? I was like, okay, uh, we fanya kazi kwa BD. Yeah, and we'll talk, we'll talk soon. I was like, okay. Bebe comes from her off being coming there. Hey, Bebe, by the way, so and so called me from the States. And I'm like, hey, Kai Bebe, aka kwambia nini? I was like, ah, she was just asking me how work is, if I like my workmates, kama kuna mtamenetea shida. Hey, alafu, alafu nini bebe? She used to talk like that. Like, ukimwambia kitu yote, she's so eager to know more. I was like, give her two. And then she said, um, I just continue with work. Nani TBD. Hey, ah, hiyo ni kwa bebe. Ukiona mekupigia? Labda ata kuongezea mshara. Anataka kukuongezea salary. I was like, yeah, I think so. I don't know, but let me hope so. The next week. The owner calls me again. Like, hi, nice. How are you? I'm good. How are you? So, and then he, she was like, um, okay, so there's something that I want to talk to you about. But first of all, I want you to talk to, to the supervisor. I was like, okay, I'll talk to the supervisor. Once you finish talking to him, give me a call. I call the supervisor during our lunch break. Like, yeah. Then he opens his WhatsApp message. His WhatsApp app. Akanyonyesha screenshots. Screenshots. 
Hey? I was like, ah, uh, hizi ni za nini? Eh, she was like, "Kwa shika simu, ufanye nini? Usome." Guess what? Guess what, honey? Let me give you a few seconds to guess. My bebe was talking to my boss and telling her all sorts of things about me. Bebe, bebe wangu, she was talking to my boss and telling her everything that we were doing together. But sasa, mimi ndo nafanya. I was like, hi, I hope uko poa. Kuyo de mpia mwenye ulimleta, anitua night. She's been coming to work late. Today she came at 8 a.m. Yesterday she came at 7.30. Next week, anasema the same thing. Imagine, adi anakula fries za customers, kibaki. Unajua ki venye viazi zimepanda bei uku Kenya. And that's why you can see we are not making a lot of profit. Because viazi zenye zinabaki, badala clients watengenezewe. Naisa anafanya nini? Anakula viazi za client. Ata meatballs, kulikuwa na 32 pieces. He, shift venye ilisha, natuliuza nene. Sita akukua. You understand? Sa ananichomea kila kitu, kila kitu, kila kitu. My, my honeys, have you ever been shocked? I felt like I was cheated on. Seriously, I felt like I was betrayed. I was actually betrayed. Because we need to easy to zote tunafanya pamoja because we are friends. Kwa hivyo tukizifanya pamoja, zitaka hapa. They will say between the two of us. Now she is saying that and she has evidence. She has evidence. Hey, hi, guys. Alikuwa ende off from 3 p.m. Alienda 2 p.m. Sasa unaona, amebia kampuni one hour. Anafaa kuingia 6 a.m. Ameingia 8 a.m. Yani alini, sita sema aliniekelea cause ni ukweli. Izi vitu zote, mi nilifanya, si uongo. But I thought we are friends. Nani wewe uli ni encourage ni fanye. Sasa mbono, mbono nani, mbono nani sema? I, I just didn't understand that part because I thought you were best friends. I read, I read the screenshot. I was shocked. And then the supervisor was like, I told you, not everyone. Here, akuna marafiki. Apa, akuna marafiki. The lady who was here before you, she used to be bebe. She used to be her bebe and she was fired. Because of what? Apparently, the lady who was fired wanted to go for vacation but hawako anakopea rusa ya kuenda for many days so she pretended that she was sick akaenda vacation kuenda vacation akamwambia nani akamwambia bebe kani bebe atanyamaza akapo status akablock kila mtu akacha bebe kumbe bebe na screenshot na akamsema kwa mwenyewe akavutwa mimi sasa huyu same thing do you know for what? Maybe so that she can be made the supervisor. Ndiyo aonyeshe mwenyewe. Uh, U supervisor ata ajui kazi yake. Mimi hapa, mimi hapa ndiyo nafaa kwa supervisor. Because I'm checking every call, every employee kama wanafanya kazi vizu. Kama wanafanya kazi vizu. I was shocked. I was so shocked. Neka maliza screenshot. Ni kampigia the owner. Because niliambiwa after talking to the supervisor, call me. So me, I knew. I'm just getting fired. I'm just getting fired. Hiya. Ni kampigia. Kanimbia, have you talked to the supervisor? Kanimbia, yeah. So, uh, what's the relationship between you and Alicia? Once again, Alicia is not her name. Her name. What's the relationship between you and Alicia? I was like, oh yeah, we are so close. Me, at I'm shocked. I'm a kwamezi vitu zote kuniho. Kuniho so. Nambia, yeah, so. Mimi, I'm just giving you a last warning. Yeah, I even talked to the supervisor. She, he told me that you guys are friends. 
I'm giving you a last warning. You guys decide to be friends or not, iyo ni yenu. Mimi hapo nataka kazi ifanyike. If you get let again, if you do any of the things enye nime patiwa reporti unafanya, you will go home. I'm giving you a last, a last warning. Kasema, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Hey, I'm not fired. Good. Aya, nikaka. Nani yoka ingia? Bebe. Amekuja hapo. Kwa counter, ni kwa hapo mimi. Bebe kanza, bebe, nye 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 nye. I was not laughing with her. She was like, eh, hey, bebe, kwa ni what's wrong? Mimi mbaya. Nani ya mekasirisha bebe wangu? Everyone in the kitchen. Wana tuangalia hivi. Because now they know what has happened. Nika mambia, listen and listen good. From today, wangalia kwa kalenda ujua leo ni, leo ni tarehe gani. Kwanzia leo, this time, usiwai fungua mdomo yako kuniongelesha mimi. Mimi kama nice, never ever open your mouth to speak to me again. Hey, baby was like, na kwa ni nini me happen? I was like, I have told you. So you wanted me to get fired. I don't know why you are doing it, maybe for promotion, that's your business. But I'm sure about one thing, you wanted me to be fired. Sorry to say, I'm still here. I have not been fired. But from today, uh -uh. as long as you're not talking to me about work-related issues, usijaribu kufungua mdomo yako, kuniongelesha mimi. Usijaribu. Kama sio biashara ya hapa, don't dare talk to me. I kid you not. Alijiongelesha. Bebe, hapana, kai, usikubali aki watu watu tenganishe, sio hivo. Save it. Nimekuambia kama si maneno ya hapa kazini. If it's not work related, don't talk to me. I'm telling you, someone that we were, bebe, 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 bebe. Tuli separate hivyo kama maji na mafuta. We were like oil and water from that day on. Mm. I used to love, laugh with everyone at the workplace. Everyone. Uyo. Na mwangalia hivi ni na mpita. Until the place was closed because it, it had to be shut down because of COVID. Actually, yeah, it was those COVID times when COVID struck. Yeah. Nilitoka sijaongelesha huyo msichana hivi. Kufungua mdomo wangu mimi nimeongeleshe. Never. Think even the friends that you have now. Yeah, they are our friends and we love them. But be careful. People change and be and pray for the spirit of discernment in case someone changes so that you are never blindsided. Mm. Because who would have thought? Let me tell you, you don't have a friend at your workplace. You do not. The day that that friend at your workplace, the owner will tell them. So it's either you or them. Tell me what this person does or I fire you. They will tell you, they will say everything that you've been, you've been doing. So if you are at work, follow the rules. Fanya kazi yako, lipua. And a nyumbani. Have friends outside your workplace. At your workplace. Uh, my sister, you don't have friends. Maybe I pride myself and I will tell you again. At your workplace, those are not your friends. Those are your colleagues. Come, especially kama mlipatana kazini. Those are not your friends. And we used to do other things together. That I cannot say them on camera. <laughs> but iso vitu zote tulifanya pamoja. Alisema nice ndi wanafanyanga. She threw me under the bus proper. Yani ile she even has evidence. So you cannot deny. I was like, wow. Hey, Mimi, from that day, I'm really careful. I'm really careful, especially at your workplace. Be very careful. Be very careful, honey. Anyway, I was not fired. We were all 
sent home because of COVID. I never spoke to that chick. I deleted her number. I deleted her number. And people used to tell me, hey, by the way, how are you? Like if I meet some of these colleagues because we were sent home. So we were all jobless. When we meet, like maybe I'm hanging out somewhere and we meet, they're like, hey, how are you? Ata nani, alikuwa naniuliza, bebe, alikuwa naniuliza, kama nongianga na wewe, na ukowaje, blah, blah, blah. Like this chick still wanted to know what I'm up to and all that. Anyway, all in all, I learned my lesson at your workplace, do your work, get paid, go home. Patana na rafiki zako inje. Ah, when you're not your cousin now, they're not your friends. They're not your friends. Plus, if everyone is saying this person is a bad person, listen to them. Hello, I'm too high to say my when buy for no reason. If 10 people are saying you're bad, this person is a bad person. Awezi kwa wana kwekelea. Kuna, kuna kashida hapa and we need to investigate. If I investigated earlier, singe jichomea ivo. Because I was given um, a warning, but that owner was very considerate, alikuwa merciful, you know. She could have fired me na niende nyumbani because she even had evidence. Anyway, that was my story time about Alicia, my workmates, <laughs> my former workmates, my bebe. Eh, where them? Alikuwa tuwa na nita bebe. Aki bebe, aki bebe. Bebe tuende. Maybe ni mekulipia fair. Yeah, honey. So I just thought, let me do a quick story time. Hope it won't be too long. It's been a minute. And I know you guys love my story times. I haven't even finished my smoothie. Yeah, so this will just be my dinner. And I'm going to watch something, probably Gossip Girl. And then I'm going to get some rest. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you, honey, for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, thank you for liking my videos. I'm so grateful to those of you who engage with my content. Thank you and thank you, thank you, thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Mwah.